Good morning everyone. I am doing my entry for the January giveaway challenge that Luisa Diaz is having on her Facebook group which is called Nothing But Crafts. So what she wants us to make is two ATC cards. They do have to be the two and a half by three and a half size and what the only thing that she's requesting is for them to have dimension. So she wants us to make two chunky ATC cards. And I was really, really excited to do this because for a very long time I've been wanting to start making the ATC cards. And um, I really can't say that these are my first ones because I've made three of them before and I'm going to show you really, really quick. This was my first one. And this was the second one. This is a sticker I got from Miss Lebedon 45 here on YouTube. And as you can see, I didn't even, I forgot to date and sign those. And then on the 15th, which I did date, <laughs> um, I made this one. So this is the third one. That's my third one that I've made. And my collection is not that big. I have these two other ones, which are from a really great artist here on YouTube. Her name is Rosa Aquino One. And she made these for me, and I absolutely love these. These are beautiful. So this is my collection here. And these are the, the two that I made for the, the challenge. So I'll show you the first one. I used, I used these little cards that I bought a while back from Hobby Lobby. They're just brown. So for the background, what I did, I got a piece of um, paper from my Safari theme booklet and I glued it on there and then I got this ribbon that I have and I got it on there and in the center of that ribbon I added this piece here and I got one of my flowers and I took it all apart just to make it flat so I got that on there next and then on top of that I added one of my iron-ons which is right there and I don't know if you can see that and it's also leopard print and on top of that, I added this piece here. This piece here used to belong to this ring base. And it has a button, and it's covered in fabric. And that's exactly how it was. It was just right on top of here. So I decided to use it for the ATC card. And I added some pearl, all, all the small little pearls all around the card. These two here are buttons that I just... I just nip the back part of them to make them flat and then I added some glue, some clear glue in the center and I added some poly flake to make them shimmer. And then I have some little flat bags. I have this one, this little black one and another black one up there. And for the very first time I made a stick pin. This is my very first stick pin. It's not all that great <laughs> but I think it turned out okay. And for the stick pins, I only had um, I only had these little this ones here with the little yellow ball. So what I had to do is paint the little yellow ball, and then I added some glue and some poly flake, and this is what it turned out like. I think it turned out okay. And all I do is I stick it down here because that flower, that button, is has some fabric, so it goes on there really well, and it stays on there really well. So that's the first one. The second one turned out like this. For the background on this one, I I have um or I had a little booklet I got at, at a Hobby Lobby with these little tags and it was like the ocean theme. So I used this one here, this image that you see right here for the background and then all around on three sides, this side, this side and the top side, I did some hot glue and I added some red glitter. I added some seashells down there and a little pearl down there mm -hmm. some ribbon and some more lace here which I tucked under mm -hmm. this is the resin piece that I've made and this one also has three stick pins which are all removable mm -hmm. and you can see that on this one I did not color the, the top which it looks okay it doesn't show it doesn't look yellow or it just you know looks like some color coming through there but they still look good with the theme and then I made um. I made uh, this flower with the lace that I have, with this lace, and in the center I added one of my vintage earrings that I have. And what I did in the center, in I added some glue onto the the earring and then some poly flake. So it turned out really pretty. 
and then I made a little bow right here with a, a little the smaller ribbon and I added the little love charm that I got from crafting 81 so this is what it, it looks like and then because I tucked the lace under I added another card up up here so this is what it looks like and I only glued three sides and I left this side open and I added this little flap so that you can scan your your card just like that and well I don't know if you can see that but it does stand up and on the little flap it does you can pull it out and this is what you'll find in there so oops excuse me so these are the two ATC cards that I'm entering for your giveaway challenge and I hope you like them and I hope everyone else likes them and thanks for watching